welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I'm your host Joe and this is a fishing dive show made just for you. We're going to go in the bay today, the beautiful Conway Bay for some, look for some taco and hopefully get a fish for dinner. So I'm going to try take you diving with me and hopefully we find some taco. Alright, let's go. Holo holo. Ooh, you guys see that? I, I get excited when I see like colored rocks like this. You see how like all the brightly colored coral and different colored rocks. So I usually see that right outside of a hole or it usually means a taco kind of like ate something over there. So what I do is I kind of just do big circles in the same area, especially when I find something like that. And uh, usually I'll find a hole, at least a hole or at least an empty hole. But all right, here we go. We just came across a hole. Do you guys see them? Give you guys a second. All right. Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you guys found it. Okay, you guys see the little, the see the rocks to the right? It's like a lot lighter color. That's how I could kind of tell. And then when you look inside, it looks really empty, right? But check this out. Look again. You guys see them? So, <laughs> check that out. Isn't that cool? So the thing was actually kind of like this brown stone color. And then when they see you, they get spooked and they'll turn that dark purple color. So sometimes I won't even see the hole or the taco, but you'll see that color change from that rock brown color to that dark purple color. And then that sometimes just is enough for you to see them, especially when they're out of their hole. So as you can see right here, I'm kind of just um, poking him and tickling him from the surface just to save my breath and right when they start to pop out that's when I kind of dive down and grab their head like you once you see about four or five legs come out the head is gonna start to pop out and he's gonna shoot so of course <laughs> look at that as soon as I go up for air he, he's gonna sh he came out of the hole and tried to run away so luckily I was able to dive back down in the shallow and I could just grab him <laughs> Man, check this next place out. Look at all the big red rocks and boulders all over the place. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So I was empty. The other one earlier was empty. And I'm just swimming this area. Man, I just had so much holes. There's another one, but all of these were empty. I guess somebody else already hit this spot. So when you come to a spot like this, it's probably, I mean, it's good to keep looking around the area because I may have missed one or it must be good grounds for them to live. But that means um, somebody already kind of hit that area. So I usually try to swim away from it and find an area close to it that maybe or nobody hit or remove spots completely. So check out this next spot. 
Okay, you guys see him? I think he's looking at you. Psych! <laughs> it tricked me too, man. I, I thought it was a taco, but I guess it's like a sea cucumber or something right there. But when I went down to look at that, I saw this guy. And this is definitely a nice one. I'm sure you guys seen it. Give me a like if you guys seen this hole. You can't really miss that one. Look at all those big red rocks and how it's covering the hole so you know somebody's home. Oh, dang. I didn't even know he was out of the hole. Did you see him earlier? Look at that. He was outside looking at you the whole time. Oh, they, these guys, all I could see is the hole itself. But then, right when I went close, you see how he turned to dark purple? So that's what I was talking about. And of course, this guy got to build his house with a little Vana protection over there. So when you grab, go down and grab the hole, make sure no more one of those things poking your fingers. So just be careful. So a lot of times when something like that, I'll, I'll try to move the rocks out of the way. Just to clear the hole so I don't poke my hand or the taco doesn't get stuck by that Vana. Makes it a lot easier to manipulate your spear and tickle them out. But again, when you're done... I heard like put back all the rocks back in the hole like that so the hoggies don't just swim right back inside or rubbish fish just stay in there and then another taco will come in and easily take those rocks right back out and you can really see it and and kind of almost fish the same holes later on yeah yeah yo. that's a nice one Gee. Hey, how's it guys? In my support local section right here, um, I just wanna talk to you guys, say, hey, make sure you guys support your local tackle shop. I don't care if it's Roy's or Charlie's, Janie, um, or even check out Bill at uh, High Fish Gear. He's an awesome dude. Um, but just make sure you guys support local because if we keep ordering online only, what happens is all these mom and pops, all these little stores will close. So. Uh, especially right now it's Christmas time. Just uh, make sure you guys get out there and support local. Uh, right now I'm probably gonna stop by Nanko's. I gotta pick up a couple things only because it's close to my house. But all right. Yeah. What's up, guys? Uh, Nanko's over here. We got our annual Christmas sale going on from now till the new year. So come by, check them out. We got some good prices, good deals going on. Um, follow us on Instagram if you wanna any more information on that stuff or Facebook. Right there. Shoots. So I got enough taco for dinner, but I really, really wanted to get like one fish for dinner at least, you know? So I was trying to go for some collars, so I went to a little deeper spot that has a lot of bunch of coral, but it has these big sand pockets, and I kind of tend to see them every once in a while hanging around them. So I made my drop from farther away, swam toward the sand pockets, and then Unlike taco diving, taco diving, I, I got it down so good that I can kind of just zoom around everywhere, move real fast. But when I'm going for fish, I kind of try to move real slow so that way I don't spook anything. And then out in the murk, I seen a school of kala starting to come in. So I was like, okay, well, here's my chance. So I'm going to hide behind these two big coral heads. I'm just going to slowly sink down and kind of tuck myself under or next to this head and then here they come started to come in and I uh, started getting a little spooked I could see them starting to swim away so it's a lot farther shot than I wanted to take and it was a going away shot but oh I, I knew I hit them I got a good shot on them it was maybe like just one inch low for you know it would have been a spine shot but because of the distance and the murk I, I got a little lower than I wanted to but still a really nice holding shot and these guys you want to kind of Grab them by the face, do this little, grab them by the gills right there, just hold his face. And then you want to brain them as soon as you get them because uh, these guys have like two little knives on the back of his tail, which are really sharp and can really do some damage. So it's best that if you can just euthanize them really quick and then string them up so that way you don't get accidentally hurt. So that was an awesome, awesome catch. Super stoked. I cook it up to a catch and cook right at the end of this and on the way back I was just swimming back to the boat I got my one fish and then hey 
wow, look, taco hole. Okay. So <laughs> I was like, here, I'll drop my spear right next to it. So remember where my spear gun is. And watch me. I'm just going to swim away. I'm going to circle back. I want you to see how different the holes look from different angles. Because the other one, you could see it very clearly when you're right on top of it looking down. I want you to look at it from this angle. Can you guys see it now? I had a hard time seeing it. But this is what I mean when it's good to swim in circles. Because at a different angle like this, boom, you can see it, right? The red, the red rocks. And then you can actually see the taco in the hole from this angle. But from a little different angle from farther away, it's very hard to see. Okay, you see the taco? All right, let's go closer and make sure he's there. You guys see his leg? Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Oh yeah, Ch cherry. Hear that? I wanted to be hard like a shell. Oh, this bug is big. Looks about right. Ch oh. Bam. Okay, try to call us on. Hmm? Hello? 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 Good? Oh, two thumbs up. What does it taste like, son? It tastes like crab. Mmm, good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you try to call us on? Hello? 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 Hello?